In this video, we're going to talk about a shortcut method to find the eigenvectors of a 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, normally, uh, when you want to find the eigenvectors uh, for a matrix, we normally use the uh, what we call Gauss uh, Jordan elimination uh, method, um, which has like several steps. Uh, probably, like, I mean, it uh, normally has like six steps. But we uh, discuss a method. Uh, you don't need to use any of those techniques by just subtracting a value from the um, diagonal entries you can find the eigenvectors so it's very simple uh, and that's what we're going to discuss here so um, so i'm going to give you this as a theorem so let's say um, so theorem uh, let's say uh, if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are distinct distinct eigenvalues distinct eigenvalues distinct eigenvalues of a 2 by 2 matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix it can be complex also so we don't restrict that if a 2 by 2 matrix a then the non zero columns non zero columns the non zero columns of a minus non zero columns of a minus a minus lambda j i lambda j i a minus lambda j i are the eigenvectors are eigenvectors eigenvectors are uh, for lambda i so that means uh, you can see i and j here so that means i not equal to j so what we're going to do we're going to subtract the other eigenvalue so that's the idea so you can see here we have i here we have j so simply subtract the opposite eigenvalue from the diagonal entry then the columns are eigenvectors and that's it so non-zero columns and there will be distinct eigenvalues yeah so if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are distinct eigenvalues of a 2 by 2 matrix a then non-zero columns of a minus lambda j i are eigenvectors for lambda i so let's write that in word so that is so that is by subtracting by uh, subtracting by subtracting the what we call the complementary eigenvalue because the other eigenvalue subtracting the complementary complementary subtracting the complementary eigenvalue complementary the other eigenvalue complementary eigenvalue from the diagonal entry from the diagonal entries diagonal entries will produce or you can say produce eigenvectors as columns so very simple idea so what you're gonna do is simply subtract the uh, complementary eigenvalue, the other eigenvalue, uh, from the diagonal entry. So each column gonna give you a eigenvector. So just pick whatever easy. Um, uh, we I need to like a, like to give you a like a knot. We know that uh, this we normally show prove in linear algebra. Any non-zero multiple of a eigenvector is also an eigenvector so that's like sometimes useful especially when you have fractions uh you can just multiply by any number you like of normally what we do we're going to multiply by the common uh, least common multiple just to get like nice numbers uh, also like if you have like big numbers you can divide or if you have negative numbers you can multiply to make it positive so we kind of do that just to get like nice numbers so it's easy to work with so that's a kind of common practice we do before we uh, work with those numbers okay so any so this is very useful uh, any uh, non-zero 
do multiply by zero because it will make it zero any non-zero multiple any non-zero uh, multiple of an eigenvector eigenvector is also is also an eigenvector that doesn't work for eigenvalues it's only for eigenvectors so non-zero multiple of eigenvector is also an eigenvector we can use that sometimes you know if you get like not good numbers we can multiply or divide uh, just to get like good numbers if you see a lot of negative numbers you multiply by negative you get a like few negative numbers okay the best thing what we can do is we can look at an example to see how it works so let's uh, look at an ex example find the eigenvectors of the matrix find the eigenvectors of uh, the matrix let's say a equal one two three four so let's look at that example so normally like when you want to find eigenvectors the first thing that you need to do is we need to find eigenvalues so that's always you have to do so let's first find eigenvalues so that's step one first uh, find eigenvalues to do that what we normally do uh, we can look at the characteristic equation for that for that we consider for that we consider the characteristic equation that we call the characteristic equation uh, that is that is what's the characteristic equation that's the determinant of a minus lambda i equal zero is equations so that is what we call the characteristic equation so you always have to do that for any matrix okay so let's look at that uh, so that means the determinant of a minus lambda i so let's plug in the values uh, determinant we use that notation so uh, a minus lambda i means you simply subtract the eigen subtract lambda from the diagonal entry because that's what happened because i is a diagonal matrix so that means only non-zero numbers are diagonal entries so you what you are simply doing is you're subtracting the lambda from the diagonal entry so that means this simply becomes 3 minus lambda nothing happens here this is 2 it becomes 4 minus lambda so that's what happened now what we can do we can simplify this is a 2 by 2 uh, matrix uh, so when you have 2 by 2 matrix it's very simple to find the diagonal entry uh, to find the determinant what you do you multiply the uh, main diagonal and subtract the other diagonal so that means in this case you simply subtract multiply the main diagonal entry that is 3 minus lambda you multiply with 4 minus lambda and subtract the other product that means you subtract this product that is uh, you subtract uh, 2 times 1 means 2 and you set it equal to 0 that's the characteristic equation this is very easy to uh, simplify this is simply lambda squared minus 7 lambda and then you get 12 minus 2 plus 10 uh, and then we are also going to find the factors of this one what are the factors of this factors are lambda minus 2 and lambda minus 5 equals 0 now what you're going to do you can set each factor equal to 0 so that means you set lambda minus 2 equal to 0 or lambda minus 5 equal to 0 so this can give you lambda equal to 2 or 5 so those are the eigenvalues okay so these are the eigenvalues so these are the eigenvalues Now what we're going to do, we're going to find the eigenvectors. Uh, but the theory says that you don't have to do much, just subtract the opposite eigenvalue. So let's do that. Uh, so let's 
so for the uh, lambda equal uh, 2 what are you gonna do you only need to subtract uh, so we only need to consider uh, a minus phi lambda because phi is the other eigenvalue so that means what are you gonna get so you're gonna get 3 minus 5 1 2 4 minus 5 so that means if you simplify you're gonna get negative 2 and 2 and 1 and negative 1 so what this says that you can see these columns are non-zero so this is an eigenvector this is also an eigenvector you can pick anything you like both are eigenvectors so the column pick the whole column so that means this is an eigenvector and also this is an eigenvector there are two eigenvectors or any multiple just pick any multiple so we can say uh, so we have v1 is an eigenvector v2 is also an eigenvector for the same eigenvalue so that means we can say so this says that uh, v1 equal 1 negative 1 because that's an easy one or v2 equal negative 2 2 are uh, eigenvectors are uh, eigenvectors for lambda equal 2 just pick any one of them or any multiple in non-zero multiple um, so let's write that again uh, the not because that's very important so the not is any non-zero any non-zero column any non-zero column of a minus 5i 5 means the other eigenvalue so we always subtract the other eigenvalue is an eigenvector an eigenvector of lambda equal to so uh, if the numbers if the numbers if the numbers are not satisfactory if the numbers are not satisfactory it can be rescaled it can be rescaled it can be rescaled by multiplying by multiplying a non zero number So, uh, for example, just side it separately. For example, for example, one half times the other vector, negative two two, which is negative one one, is also is also an eigenvector. That's very interesting. Just just multiply by a number. Uh, you can even multiply by negative one here. So you're gonna get the same one. Okay. Good. So let's do now with the other one. So we can see. Uh, so for uh, lambda equal five, what are you gonna do? You're gonna subtract the other one. So we can do a minus two lambda. So subtract two from the diagonal entry. So it is three minus two, a uh, one. 3 no that's 2 uh, 2 and then 4 minus 2 so when you subtract you're gonna get 1 2 1 2 you can see they are the same so so that means uh, that's the eigenvalue so this implies that v equal 1 2 just pick the column that's it just pick the column is an eigenvector of lambda equal 5 that's it so very simple what you want to do is just subtract the opposite or the complementary eigenvalue from the diagonal entry uh, then any non-zero column any non-zero column is eigenvector so you can see that we don't use the uh, regular uh, 
a row reduction argument to find the eigenvectors. It's very simple. This method works even for the diagonal matrices, uh, but there's a problem when you have an identity matrix. So if you have an identity matrix, uh, you can see that when you subtract, the matrix is simply zero. So you don't have any non-zero columns. So in that case, something interesting happened. You can see that any non-zero vector is an eigenvector for the, the identity matrix. For the identity matrix, any non-zero vector is an eigenvector. But otherwise, this method works. Thank you.